I just woke up and it's Saturday. Thank God. I have been like exhausted like this week. I went, I did another caffeine detox, but I like to just like not drink coffee for a week randomly. You know when you feel like you need a break, right? So I decided I'm gonna film a day in the life. Even though we're allowed to go out and like do things, I still like choose not to and until like I really have to. Next weekend, um, it's like a four day weekend, so I'm gonna go visit Busan and like hang out with friends, but this weekend just chilling. I decided to film like my full day, even though I don't know what I'm gonna do yet, so I can't guarantee you it's gonna be that interesting. I got my liter water bottle that I just filled up. I tried to drink like a full liter right off the bat. It's kind of hard. Like it makes me feel sick if I drink it too fast. So I'll just like drink this before if I am drinking coffee that day before like any coffee or before like my breakfast. Like I'll make sure I finish this, but it usually takes like 30 to 40 minutes. Like I can't just chug a liter. What I've been doing every morning is I I don't know if you guys have read my blog at all But I recently had a girl on her name's Maya and can't pronounce her last name like at all But I'll tag her in the on her Instagram every morning She she does like a morning flow and she posted it on Instagram And it's just like a little thing to wake your body up and I I've been starting to do like a little bit of movement in the morning So I started like doing her morning flow in the morning and I love it And it's just like a good way to warm the body up before you like head off to work and then it's not like a, a real workout, but it gets like you warm. There's, I don't sweat, but like I'm getting there. So I'll do that. I d I've been doing that every morning and it just feels really good. <laughs> of it is like not to work out like sometimes I have to like remind myself because I'm like I know that I can do more in my head I'm like wait this is literally only to like warm up your body like get your heart pumping at the beginning of the day it's so important to have like your heart going first thing in the morning I don't know if you guys have read the book the 5 a.m. club but he always says like the first 20 minutes should be like a physical thing the next 20 minutes should be meditation or like like reflection and then the the last 20 minutes of your morning routine should be like journaling. Now I'm going to make my lemon water and chlorophyll. I started drinking it with a metal straw because I noticed my teeth were like starting to thin because I was drinking like apple cider vinegar, lemon water, coffee with just on my bare teeth and I don't know, I just want to protect them so that's why I'm using a straw. And I honestly started drinking chlorophyll because everyone on my Instagram did it straight up, that's why. There are like such great benefits for it, like why not add that into your morning? Chlorophyll is what makes plants green basically and it keeps them alive and healthy that's a really like a dumbed down version of what it does like so don't come at me for not being scientific but it does it's supposed to like help in digestion and it helps your body recover quicker from workouts um i don't know google it if you want to like know all the actual benefits but those are just a few and i have noticed i've been trying like to do a lot with my like gut health and digestion and chlorophyll is supposed to like aid in that okay so now i'm gonna do like a quick 10 minute meditation saturday morning i haven't even looked at my phone yet so i don't even know what time it is so it could literally be 8 30 or it could be like 10 30 and i like don't know but i really like doing melissa wood health meditations they're just like on the app they're included in the app 
she has a bunch so i'm gonna do like just a 10 minute one i tend to not do it on saturdays like i'll do a meditation on sunday but i find sometimes i like don't do them on the weekend i always feel so much better when i do so i'm gonna like try and start like forcing myself to like do it on saturday mornings like for some reason i feel like i can take the day off on saturday but like i always feel so much better after i do it and what i do is like i literally just sit on my bed beds in asia in general and bria they're so hard having like a memory foam mattress is like such a western thing it's insane so i'm used to like a really hard bed so i don't like sink and it's i'm gonna like fall back asleep when i'm sitting on my bed or i would sit on my yoga mat i'm gonna i just sit on my bed and i sit like this cross-legged the one thing that i really like about it is that it, before like you even pick up your phone and like the outside world can affect your entire day your entire mood the moment you pick up your phone it can shift so i like to just sit with myself and i don't know just like have the quiet like it's just so peaceful and so relaxing like i can't even begin to explain to you like how much it's changed my life it's just such a nice break from everything that's going on and i don't know you really get to like know yourself you start to take a step back and realize that you're not everything that's going through your head like you are not your thoughts it's just a lot of it's what you've been conditioned to think so i'm going to do my 10 minute meditation and then i'll talk to you after bye i just did a 15 minute one why not and oh i love her so much i just feel like i'm literally floating after i do one of her videos so now i'm just gonna go in my journal gratitude list so i decided like it shouldn't feel like a chore obviously there's a difference between like being lazy and then like being disciplined i realize how much better i feel when i do these things so i get myself to do them but i don't want to like overdo it so i started just writing out three things that i'm grateful for writing like a couple sentences on like why like getting into like detail on that one thing but i find like that's helped me really like hone in on it more than like writing just like 10 bullet points of like what i'm grateful for said to like write three but in detail so i'm gonna do that also i like to write how do i want to feel today like write like three words so i'm gonna do that and i'll show you guys what i write after I should also say i made a playlist on my phone and it's just called happy and it has like all these songs that put me in like the best mood it's i've been playing it in the morning i can't play it during this video because of copyright obviously but i've been playing it in the morning like during my flow it's just like puts me in such a good mood <laughs> like i love it make a little playlist of songs that just like make you feel good and happy i have fleetwood mac on there justin bieber songs that make me happy bts like just songs that like put me in a really good mood okay so i wrote in my journal and this morning i wrote that i was grateful for the sunshine and the weather we've had it's been so nice out um and i just wrote why so i said because it puts me in such a great mood it lets me go outside for nice walks i'm able to run my errands and it just makes me happy <laughs> and then i put that i'm grateful for my vision i always forget how lucky we are to be born with like our eyesight it might sound a little bit dramatic but it's actually so true like i couldn't even imagine a world where like i couldn't see nature or my friends and family i wrote that i'm grateful for my clean drinking water that i have access to like i'm able to just run the tap and drink out of it and when you put that into perspective where other people are walking six plus hours to like go get just a glass of wa dirty water it just makes me feel so grateful and then today so today i want to feel energized joyful and accomplished so that's my morning routine this is like something that i'm playing with for so long november of 2018 that i started playing around with morning routines and i change it up so much like it's changed in the past couple months a lot and i really like this one it's like gets to the point it's simple i have my movement i have my warm water with lemon journaling my meditation and just like all these things make me feel really good and they just set me up for like having a good day because it's all about perspective so you get to choose whether you're gonna have a good day or not so um i'm gonna make my like morning green smoothie that i've been drinking every morning this week and i've been loving it. it's keeping me so full it has protein powder in it i'm gonna make that so i have some like romaine in there i have spinach ice and water so i'm gonna blend this stuff up first 
My blender's not that great, so I have to like do it in sections. I'm gonna do some lemon juice, a chunk of ginger. Um, I'll do like half of this apple. I'm gonna do half of this banana, so. So good but I wanted to like try making the TikTok coffee by myself today I made it with my friend Liz like a couple weeks ago and I actually was like super shocked at how much I liked it I have my instant coffee and I bought this This is gonna be a while, so I'll get you when I'm done. I have my milk, and I actually made cold brew, so I'm gonna stick some of this in that. Look at that. I'm pretty proud of myself, to be honest, because, I don't know. I don't really have any reason to be. I just am. Ah, oh, fuck. <laughs> All right. So now I'm going to go out for just like a long walk. And I look extra douchey today because I'm in all white. To get some sunshine. It's like noon now. I feel like kind of like <sighs> sketchy because I drank that coffee. And I didn't drink coffee all week. And whenever I have it for the first time after that, like I kind of feel like jittery so I like need to go walk this off. I like almost feel like I'm rolling. <laughs> so nice out except it's so windy here and I did a little something I picked some daisies that I saw they're cute cute now I'm hungry so it's like almost one so I'm gonna make lunch for lunch I'm gonna make some granola so I don't have an oven I don't have an oven so I have to make it on the stove top so Just make sure nothing is like burning. So maybe, maybe turn it down a little bit. I also love sunflower seeds, so I'm gonna put like a little bit more. Some maca. Like I just sprinkle it over. Almonds. And I literally don't know why I have one walnut left. So I'm gonna crush that. You can literally put like anything you want, like raisins, cranberries, I just don't have any. And then you take your honey. And...
I just ate and now I'm gonna work out. I'm gonna start the Chloe Ting two week summer shred. So we'll see how long I do this for. But like everyone's doing it on Instagram. So like now I just like feel like I have to. So I'm gonna try it. Okay, so I'm gonna do this. Let's see how it goes. Oh my God, I just did part one. I used to only do like Pilates yoga, but I started doing more of this because I just felt like I needed more of like a like a burn and like her workouts are so good. I recommend doing them. Now I have to do part two. I just did the second part. Oh my god. She has so many free programs too on her website. Like it's insane. Like I can't believe it's all free. Her last name is so funny to say. Ting. Together it's only like 35 minutes or something to work out. So I'm actually going to do a Melissa Wood Health workout too. I really like doing one of her workouts after I just did kind of like a more intense workout. A lot more challenging and it like, it's so different and I can really like feel myself like engaging my core and like doing the really small movements that you don't really notice when you're doing like burpees and like squats, like intense actions. So I really like the combination of the two of them. So I'm gonna do that one. And I'm back and for supper tonight, I decided to make a Korean dish called kimchi jjigae. It's basically like a stew and it's really spicy and it's hot and it's super fucking good. So I'm going to make that. So I've been like watching YouTube videos on how to make it, but this is my first time. So basically I've been making a broth here with just garlic, ginger, and like a green, a hot green pepper. And then we have my kimchi, the veggies that I'm going to put in it, the rice cakes, hot pepper paste. This is literally so fucking hot. It's insane. And then we have some salt and sugar. And then I have some tofu in the fridge, so. So we have all our ingredients in there. I used half a block of that and I let that broil for like, don't, my, my embarrassing plate, I don't have a lid, but I'm going to let that boil for 10 and then I'm going to add my tofu. Look how cute my little flowers look that I picked today on top of my washing machine. This girl is so fucking cute. <laughs> like, I've like been watching all of her cooking videos. She's this little Korean woman and she just like has had a YouTube channel for a decade. Has over like, has almost like four, five million followers and just like cooks. Oh, she's so cute. If you're ever looking to make any Korean dishes, then you should literally watch her on YouTube. She's great. Oh my God. It smells so good. So good. Spicy. This red, I even got the medium hot stuff. I didn't even get that hot. I even got new chopsticks and a new spoon. How cute. Literally can't see me and I just like have nowhere else to sit, but I'm gonna eat this. Mm. Pre and rice cakes are by far my favorite like thing ever. They're so good. Um, It's really fucking hot though, so. It needs a minute, but so easy. I like highly suggest, oh my God, the steam. If you're like looking to just experiment during this quarantine, make some friggin' Korean food. It's so good. Like if you know, like, you know. If you like kimchi, <clears throat> you have to make this. Oh my God, it's spicy. So good. And so easy. It's a lot easier than I thought. I just like think I can cook now. I'm gonna end this off. Let me know what I should make next, you know?